What's up guys and welcome back to the tenants. So we have our biggest renovation yet coming up right here. This is St. Lucia Street and uh, it's it's a big job, dude. This, this is going to be fun. So um, $75,000 budget on the renovation, which is incredible. We've never seen anything that big on top of the fact that we have a, uh, I think a, a fee north of $10,000, maybe 12, 13,000, something like that. Obviously if we do a good job, we're gonna be able to get a nice bonus on top of that. So that's something I kind of want to focus on on doing in this episode. I feel like things are going well, we're handling things well, but we just, we really need to, um, we need to start focusing on making more money. I'm thinking, honestly, I, I feel like babysitting jobs might be one of our best opportunities. As soon as we get, get done cleaning this place up, I'm gonna take, oh shoot. We cleaned it up and then we got to fix it again. Oh, it broke. It broke. We've got to dispose of it. Shoot. That's not good. All right. Looks like this thing over here is broken as well. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking as soon as we're done cleaning here, we're going to send Uncle out. We're obviously going to come in for the reno, but uh, I'm hoping that we're going to be able to pick up some more babysitting jobs because we're just kind of in the background and we don't have to do much until disaster strikes looking for babysitting keep an eye on my people all right we'll accept that looks good this one here is going to be for finding a tenant i mean we, we could do that eventually for sure all right so we're going to begin our renovation here let's see what we've got going on first impression and preferred furniture are, are their main focus they don't mind the walls we've got seven days to be able to get this done which is a little bit uh a little bit scary we've got security cameras they want security cameras all over the place all right so i'm gonna put uh one by the door there we're gonna have one on this wall, one by this door, and then I'm thinking, I mean, probably a good idea to have one one more over here, be able to just take a look at everything. So this is obviously some sort of a casino or something. We want illegal substances? Okay, so I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna get them the, the big dogs. They're they're moving weight out here. This is this is interesting. We want tables, chairs, gas bottles, safes. More illegal substances. All right, can I can I buy? I can I can buy more. All right, we've got a, over a thousand dollars in illegal substance. Gas bottle. We're gonna place this down. We want a safe. I'm just gonna place everything in the middle, and then we're gonna we're gonna check out what we're doing with it later. They did say that first impression is gonna be their main priority, so maybe something like this. Let's let's put those down. That's two tables. We're gonna want chairs. Try to get something. Ooh ooh. Now that that is an impression right there. So we're gonna throw these down. Uh, we want stone floors, so I'm thinking, I mean, we have three different types of stone here. I'm, I'm thinking marble floors. Yeah, this is, this is going to be great. This is going to be Pablo Escobar's mansion. Not really sure what they're going to do with all this space, but, uh, I mean, we, we got you, man. Okay, so I'm panicking a bit. We're down to five days already. We got to move, move quickly here. So we're going to have a brewery. We need to make a bedroom and we need to make a bathroom and a security room. Oh, dude, this is insane. I don't know how we're going to have enough time to be able to do this. All right, we got to go. We got to go fast. This is the most ridiculous thing we've ever done. So this this is going to be our security room here. Obviously, put, put a door here. And then, of course, we're going to have to do some sort of a door to be able to get in there. So we can do something like that. All right, that looks pretty good. This is going to be our security room. So we're going to want monitoring screens. Holy cow, this is this is kind of insane and also really exciting. So I'm gonna put one there and then we're gonna grab another one and, and put it right next to it. Looks pretty good. We're gonna want an armory. Bro, what is happening? This is fantastic. I'm gonna put this against this wall. We've got that. We're gonna want a DVD player. We could potentially put that maybe up top of the armory. Nope, can't put it up there. Can't put it up there. We'll put it on the ground for now. We're gonna want a, uh, a TV, definitely a flat screen on the wall to be able to monitor everything. So we've got that going. We're gonna want a couple of PCs. We're gonna want uh, a server tower. Bro, this is, this is kind of crazy, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't realize we were making multiple rooms here. So we've got that, and then we're gonna want a couple of PCs. I mean, I, I would assume that the $500 PCs are gonna be able to get it done, but uh, I, I don't know, I don't, I don't, I don't wanna assume too much. Wonder if you could upgrade my internet subscription? Sure, why not, I got you. All right, leave me alone, because I'm, I'm really, really busy right now. So we've got that, our security room. Oh, we want, we want this, this sort of PC, okay. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go for the big, big daddy desktop right there. So let's put those down, and and we'll we'll leave that for now. We'll fix it up if we have time. But we're already down to four days. Bathroom. I'm thinking this over here is gonna be our bathroom. We're gonna want to put an actual door in there. I guess let's just go with the same style. So we've got that. A tub. A straight up tub in here. Okay. Let's put this here. There's a a problem. Let's open up our app. Uh, I'll I send my uncle. All right, Unc. You you. Ah, 
shoot, dude. This is not good. Repair it, uncle. Come on. I, I don't have time for this. I I'm stressed. This is a lot. I can't wait till we have enough money to be able to just send people over and have them do whatever they got to do. All right, that's taken care of. We got to go back. We've got... There there's no way we're going to be able to get this done in time. So we we've got this bathtub. We want a shower cabin. We're going to have to have a bigger bathroom. We are going to need a bigger bathroom. There's no doubt about that. I'm going to see if we move that there. Can we move this in the corner? We can. Perfect. All right. That's actually pretty nice. We could put a toilet over on the other side. I'm thinking a pretty nice toilet right up underneath the window, just like that. Bathroom sink. Let's go with something pretty nice. Obviously, these guys are, are posh. They make good money to spend good money. We're going to want washing machines in here. Uh, I'm just going to place it down for now. We're going to need toilet paper. So let's grab some toilet toilet paper, put it next to it. We're going to need a toilet brush. We're going to be able to put that on the other side of it. Can I move move this here and move this here? Is that going to work? That'll actually work. It's not perfect, but it'll work. They're going to want tile floors, so I'm going to go with this. That looks pretty cool. And then blue walls. You guys know how I like my, my blue here. So we've got that going right like that all right this is like speed running this so the bathroom's done next up living room or should we do kitchen bedroom we got to do a bedroom i'm thinking of ah shoot where do we want to put a bedroom maybe over in in this corner or maybe in this corner bedroom's going to be a three by three so we can just put it this way and then i'm thinking some sort of a door right here go in here take a look at the doors do the same style looks good so this is going to be our bedroom walls are going to be red kind of like mob style here ish i guess we can go with something like that that looks good and then the floors are going to be carpet i'm going to go with the gray and red yeah this is this is very luxe i like it so we've got that he's going to want a double bed let's give him the most expensive because we have plenty of money left forty two thousand dollars left gonna want a tv on the wall so we're going to put the big flat screen up there looks good Gonna want an easel, big, big painting guy. All right, we've got that, so we could put that there. Desk over on the other side. I'm thinking a, a big, nice one right here. Uh, should we put it under the window? Under the window makes sense. Desk chair, let's get him something like this. Looks pretty good. Laptop, gonna get him the most expensive laptop possible. Place that on the desk. And then a piano. The $5,000 piano over in the corner. No no chair, stool, or anything to be able to play it, but we're it's, it's just going to be sitting there. All right, bedroom is done. Next up, we're going to have a kitchen. I'm thinking a kitchen in this corner. Let me move these out of the way. So we're going to go with uh, fridge. We're going to put... Should we go with the black fridge? I guess that, that works for me. We could put this guy in the corner just like that. I guess go with the black kitchen sink. All right, I'm actually... I'm thinking maybe we put the kitchen sink under the window. Let's move this. Can we put that there? We can't. Move this over here and then we could put the fridge next to the door that makes a bit more sense so we've got that is it is it not counting as a kitchen because it's not separate do you want it to be separate we can make it separate so if we if we do this like that and then we could do a uh, a door in there take a look at the doors do the same style door does that count as now it counts as a kitchen okay they're gonna want yellow walls just big bird yellow just go with whatever i see first and then they're going to want hardwood floors that is an absolutely atrocious kitchen i kind of want to want to make the the walls a little bit nicer but we're just we're, we're gonna rock with it we're fine all right so we've got the the sink we've got the fridge we want a cooker we're gonna put the cooker next to the fridge this is kind of a weird setup kitchen cabinet probably something like this but we're gonna want to move it so you have the drawers i mean it's it's kind of stuck in the corner anyway. You're not going to be able to make much use of it. Kitchen equipment. Maybe a mixer on the thing. Something like that. All right. Looks looks good to me. Random little kitchen. As long as we're getting paid, I'm, I'm, I don't care. We're two days out. Two days out here. All right. So we're going to need a brewery. Let's make this the brewery here. So we're going to put a door in there. You guys know the deal. Just do the same style of door. So this is, this is going to be our brewery in here. Holy cow, we gotta go so fast. So we're gonna have uh, tile floors. I'm thinking something like that. We're gonna have brown walls. I mean, maybe something like this. All right, whatever you want. We're gonna want brew kettles. Oh my God, they're massive. Okay, so we're, we're, we're gonna need to, to expand this a little bit. We're gonna have to demolish these. Then we're gonna have to build this out at least like that and then maybe put a door in here second brew kettle over in this corner something something like like that all right that looks pretty nice they're gonna want a table we could do a table right in the middle maybe a big table something fairly large definitely gonna want a lot of space here be able to put our kettles and stuff on so we've got a table we're gonna put a chair in there 
something pretty nice, maybe a second chair just to make it look even, and then we want barrels all over the place. Do we want regular barrels or large? Looks like we just want regular barrels, so I'm just gonna put these over in the corner. One, two, three, and four. All right, nice. So we've got that going on. Be able to cook up some of that work, some of that Vallejo. Now over here, we're gonna want our manufacturing hall. We have one day left, we're gonna be late. I feel bad. One day left. Manufacturing hall and living room. So I'm thinking, let's let's go ahead and 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 put up some some walls. We're gonna want to build. I'm gonna I'm gonna make it like this. I think that's how we're gonna gonna separate the two. Dude, Pablo is gonna absolutely murder me if we if we've got this late. All right, so I'm gonna say manufacturing hall is gonna be in here. We're gonna put the clothes hanger. All right, uh, finish the walls in gray. We're gonna be able to just finish this out just like so. Is that it? We're at 40%. Come on, baby. We're almost done. I know this doesn't look good. I wish we weren't on a time constraint. This would have been really fun if we weren't on a time constraint. So we've got that. And then finally, last but not least, we've got this. I'm just gonna throw a DVD player down. We're gonna throw a, a, a random table down. We're gonna throw chairs down. Let's do the same ones that we used before. So we're gonna be able to do one, two, three and four and then we're gonna do the painting on the wall let's just put you know something anything doesn't matter we're gonna have a big old rug underneath the table i like this green rug let's go with something like that we're gonna be able to do a lamp just throw that in the middle of the table <laughs> this is so so random we want a roulette table i'm gonna put this over in the corner we want carpet floors so we're, we're gonna do just gray carpet i mean it's it's not bad this isn't bad, it's not ideal, but at least we hit all their asks. We did not have enough time to uh, to make it look nice, but uh, we got it done. All right, boom, let's let's deliver it. Holy cow. For a speed run, it actually turned out pretty nice. I mean, we left a lot of our stuff here. Ooh, what is this? Shoot, um, send a pro in, whatever. I don't even care, dude. Just, just go take care of it. It's gonna spend some money there, but we're gonna keep our, our clients happy. Hopefully Pablo's Pablo's not too upset for us taking so long. I mean, this is kind of a dope little hangout. I'm not gonna lie. See what I did there? Dope. Check it out the brewery room. We've got our barrels. You can work up that, you know, Walter White. Not a fan of having all the barrels randomly in the corner, but that's okay. Dude, this this honestly genuinely didn't turn out too bad. Like I'm I'm surprised it looks as, as good as it. Obviously, we should have organized all this stuff. We've just got random tables laying about and stuff, but uh Let's see what he likes about that, that big work. Nice, okay, loves it. Five stars and we get a bonus of $2,200 for a total profit of $13,200. Narrowly made it in there, maybe a little bit late, but we still we still did pretty well. Let me take a look at my phone, dude. Sometimes you just, yeah, I get tunnel visions. Obviously I'm, I'm focusing on what's happening rather than looking at what people have said. Looks like we're getting rent payment, sounds good. Solved the problem there, cost us 1,600, but that's, that's all right. Um, sweet, got some bills to pay. Currently have an income of 6,200 and an outgoing of a thousand bucks, so looks good. Let's go ahead and pay all of our bills. Uh, I guess we'll just start taking some more jobs. Do we have more babysitting jobs? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take babysitting jobs. I also, to be honest, I kind of like finding the right tenant. Yeah, let's, let's try this out. Let's go over there and, and do that up. So we've got an open house, no cashier, no factory worker, someone 36 to 49 years old, alcoholic personality type, not ideal. I'm going to leave that 36 to 49 salary of 83,000. Let's do a background check here. This is, this might be perfect. Child care worker and an athlete. Let's take a look here. Murder, arson, and grape. That is not somebody we're going to be renting to. Wow. That is, that is awful. Uh, uh, an alcoholic mobster at 41 years old. Definitely don't want to do that. Let's do a background check on this this chick, Lisa Mullen, right here. No criminal record, no deck. Excellent history. All right, we're gonna negotiate with her. She's the one we want. So we want. Uh, is there? Does it tell us how much they want? I'm I'm gonna come in at at 2,200. Make an offer. See what she says. 1936. 20 2150. Make the offer. Your boy likes to play hardball. 2068. Right. I'm gonna say 20, 2100. Accept it. Nice. Perfect. All right. Look at that. So we got him a new tenant. She seems pretty solid. Ooh, what the heck is going on? We've got an issue over here. We gotta send in Unc. Dude, there's always so much going on. You there's something's wrong. 
Uh, I'll, I'll send a pro in. I got you there. I got some of my own. Heater stopped working. Okay. Uh, she fixed it. She's fine. You're a big girl. You could take care of it. Dude, this is stressful. Honestly, it, it kind of gets a little bit overwhelming. If you're trying to do reno jobs on top of babysitting jobs, it just, it, it, it becomes a lot. Got a $12,200 payday here, but we also have more tenants getting upset with us. So I'm going to send my uncle right away. Let's go over and check this out. He's going to have to repair this. I mean, ones like these aren't bad, but when you're having to spray for cockroaches or trap rats or anything, it, it gets a little bit much. I'm thinking, I mean, we, we just, we have to keep making money. We're up to $80,000. I'm thinking we, we take this next job. It's kind of becoming a bit overwhelming, but I'm thinking we take it. So let's go ahead and head over there and see what we've got going on. Looks, is this... This is the same thing. Okay, nice. Well, I'm just gonna grind this one out and I'll see you guys when we're done. So this one is, is literally the exact same thing. I, I didn't know you could could get the same ones. I feel like this is kind of a, a bit of a bit of a glitch in a sense, but uh, I'm, I'm not upset at it just because it gives us a little bit more time to be able to work with. And I, I, now that we know kind of what to expect and we know how much everything is gonna cost, we know that we can just absolutely ball out here. So we're, we're gonna make this the, the best one yet. Um, kind of different color options on the walls and stuff, but you guys could see we just, we, we laid it out a little bit better. It makes a little bit more sense with how everything's mixed up. Even had time to kind of make this look nicer, the manufacturing area and stuff. But, um, yeah, this is, I mean, it's, it's great. We're just, we're going to make a lot more money here and, uh, going to be able to take that, take that to the bank. Ooh, look at these different, different colors we have going on. I like it. I also noticed that we did have, uh, we had the doors, the outside doors. We had those same doors available for the inside. Those were clashing in the last one, but they all look uniform this time around. Yeah, dude, I, I really enjoy having a bit more time. Now, granted, I mean, we, we don't have to brush through every job. And as we get more money, we're going to be able to take our time. Really, you're, you want to be quick for the, the deadline. Obviously, we're about that money. You know what I mean? So we, we want to make as much money as possible. But it is nice to be able to be able to kind of chill out. We need a, a little rug in here. I mean, this, there's a lot of green happening in here. I feel like the green's a bit too much. If we get this thing like this, that might might kind of offset it a bit. Very Christmassy here in this room, but um, this is this is something we can do a little bit better here. So let me let me move this a little bit out more towards the middle. I'm gonna move this out more towards the middle as well. Let's buy some more of these chairs and let's let's put them all the way around these tables. We're obviously gonna have a bunch of people in here working, cutting it up packaging it getting ready for for you know resale and stuff like that sort of give people a nice place to sit but uh yeah if we could take a little bit more time we could just be a little bit nicer with it i do like like this bedroom looks better this time around we might even add some to that but like look at this like everything looks nice i had time to add bare chairs which are kind of funny but uh, you know desk for the pcs we could add like a little shelf for the dvd player underneath the tv did the same thing in here it's just it's it's a little bit a little bit nicer when you have the extra time and this time around we had the extra time because we, we you know kind of knew what to expect we knew what was coming so if we take a look at this room it looks like we are missing this is going to be our holy cow the manufacturing hall i think they want the walls to be yellow. We're missing some yellow over here. So let me grab some yellow. Let's put some yellow on these walls. That looks good. And apart from that, it looks like we're solid. Our kitchen's kind of boring over here. I'm thinking some sort of a, a plant. Let's do the wall hanging plants. Maybe even like a little mirror above the thing here. Where's our wall hang? Oh, oh, see, we could, we could do something like this on a, a, a shelf. So if we go to office, we can grab this guy put this here and then go back we could do something a little bit different rather than a wall hanging plant we could have a, a little planter there that looks nice maybe in you know ar in the kitchen never really know what you're going to need it for I, I would assume that we would want one of these in pretty much every room of the setup so i'm, I'm just going to place these all over the house obviously gangsters are, are gonna gonna love that you know even in the bathroom you never really know when it's going to pop off so have that above the sink just ready ready for some action what else do we have going on i mean i i think like a clock you know they better not be late cutting up that work uh break room probably good to have a clock in here as well just to keep an eye on the time where would we put it maybe up in this corner looks uh looks pretty good uh and, and overall the, i mean this is this is just this is a lot better i mean this this is a sick setup everything's organized it looks nice I'm, uh, I'm digging it. So let's uh i say i say we go ahead and are, are we completely done we're gonna deliver it way ahead of project two Way ahead of, of timeline. All right, I, I say we just go for it. Let's deliver this job and, and see what they think of it. I think we did way better here than we did with the first one. Even like 
You know, the green chairs are matching the green carpet and all the table games and stuff like that. Let's go see what he thinks. Thinks of the... Oh, yeah. He loves the product in there. He loves that we went all out in the product. This is his master bedroom. Take a look in here. We got the bear chair. It's the most expensive chair. He loves it. All right. Let's see what else he's going to do. He's going to go check out all of our table games and stuff. Or maybe even go all the way to the bathroom. See what he thinks about everything going on in here. He loves it. Yeah. This is going to be another five star. And we're, we're going to make... We're gonna make some good money here. I think that was that was solid. Our first ever full five star across the board with a four thousand dollar bonus. In total, we made over seventeen k in just a couple of days. So I took a babysitting job here. I'm also gonna go get a, a tenant here. They want no butchers. Twenty one to fifty eight years old. Previous tendencies at least two. Forty six. I mean, she would work. Gamer Harmon. Or a barman, sorry. Is this Esther right here? Uh, yeah, I mean, we, sh we should check her tenant tenant history there. See what she's got going on. Gonna have that come in here shortly. Be able to open this up. She's got one. One tenancy history. 53 years old. Does he meet? Yep, let's check his history. I feel like we should check their history first. Because that's cheaper. That's gonna help us save a little bit of money. He has one history as well. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's not exactly what we're looking for. We need somebody with a bit more experience. What about this guy? 23 years old. Barely sneaks in there. Let me let me give a tenant history check here. See what we've got going on. Come on. We need at least two. Just one. Fine. I mean, Ellis Potts was good. Which one's Ellis Potts? This one... I'm going to give you a background check, and if you're it, I'm just going to put him in there. It doesn't matter if we're perfect, right? I mean, being being closer to perfect is ideal. No criminal record and no debt. Yeah, we're, we're going to go ahead and uh, Ellis Potts, we're, we're going to negotiate with you. So let's, I'm going to say 1300 make an offer. See how that is. Oh, he came in at 910. I'll meet you in the middle. 1130. I'll take it. All right, bam. Got a pack of rats in my flat. Uh, I'm gonna send my uncle over right away. Rooms to rent unlocked. What's better than just one tenant in your apartment? Well, two or more of them under one roof. You can now rent spare bedrooms to multiple tenants on your open house days. Sweet. All right, so I'm gonna send my uncle. We're gonna go take care of some rats. No biggie. Let's go in here. We're gonna set down some traps. Looks like we've got a nice little home gym here. Gonna put one down. We're gonna have to put a second one down. Oh, we've got five rats in here, dude. This is not a good setup. Come out here, set another one. We got two rats down so far. Three to go. Set down some more. That's one. Two left. That's two. Last one should go to that one, I hope. He went to it. Perfect. We haven't really taken a look at our money in a while, so it, it looks like Cindy Warren's still paying us some time, so that's that's exciting. Uh, we do have $469 in bills, so let's just go ahead and pay that. Looks like we, we ranked up again. Left a review. Got a four-star review on that tenancy thing, so it wasn't the perfect tenant, but it's okay. So we're supposed to be babysitting this guy in, in Wilson Avenue, 608. Um, are you good, bro? He's a fast food worker making $187,000. So, oh, he's, he's waking up. Okay, I just wanted to make sure you weren't dead. All right. I, oh, he's got cockroaches. Well, I'm going to I'm gonna send Unk in. That was crazy timing that we were already looking. Yeah, I got you. I'm sending my uncle in. Don't you worry about it. All right, Unk is going to come in here and take care of business, baby. I'm going to chill out here for a second. I'm going to grind it out. Uh, honestly, this might be a good spot to end this episode. Really, like I said, my, my focus going forward is... I. I'm probably gonna grind a bit. I'm gonna get us some money and I wanna focus on building our own portfolio. Obviously there's some grinding here. It's a slow, steady process, but I wanna get us to the point where we're worried more about our own investments. We can take our time making those better, worrying about our own tenants and stuff like that, rather than taking these little odd jobs because it gets a little bit stressful and I feel like it's just not as fun. So I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode. Gonna have a lot more money. We've got $147,000 already, which is pretty solid. But I want to get this off to a really good start. I'll see you guys there. We're gonna start building our empire. Peace out.